Unlike any other job interview, the technical interview is a rigorous process that requires problem solving, brainstorming, and coding skills, along with a very apt personality. Hello and welcome. Today, we will be going to check out some of the best tips that can help you to crack any tech interview. This video will help you to learn to catch the pace and ace in interview, even if you are a fresher. So, what is a technical interview? Unlike other types of interviews, technical interviews involve challenges and assignments. They're more like an exam than a typical question and answer interview. Every company is different, but let's take a look at the average situations or common stages you might face for any technical interview. Let's break down each stage of the typical tech interview process with quick tips for doing your best in each one. Telephonic interview. At the initial stage with the telephonic interview, beyond your tech skills, which you've already mentioned on the resume, interviewers actually want to know your passion for coding, enthusiasm, and communication skills. Here are a few more tips on how to prepare for a technical phone interview and also how you can stand out. Number one, be positive and enthusiastic. Be excited about the company and that positivity will come across in the interview. Number two, understand the interviewer. If you're interviewing with a recruiter with few programming knowledge, show up your soft skills and don't get too technical. If your interviewer is a developer, show off that tech knowledge. Number three, be honest. Tell the interviewer your stream of interest in the projects you have worked on. What you shouldn't do is lie anything or boast about any of your projects. Well, you never know. Before even calling, they have already conducted your background check and you are directly struck off. To stand out in telephonic round, answer the interview questions in a way that is specific to the company and the position. It shows that you have done the research and actually wanting the job. It's actually a sign that you're interested and seems to be a perfect fit. Stage two, remote coding assignment. The second stage is a remote coding assignment. This stage has some flexibility in how companies conduct it. So first, let's go over some of the common types of remote techniques. Some companies will give you a real-time monitor challenge to see how you code. Meanwhile, startups may simply require you to complete an at-home assignment instead within a set time limit. Some small startups may not include a remote coding challenge at all, rather conduct on-site or floor interviews directly. Interviewers look for your coding skills, check if you test your code as you write it, problem-solving skills, and collaboration skills. Here are a few more tips to be a pro for a remote coding interview. During real-time coding, focus on communicating with the interviewer. Focus on collaborative process. Aim to use words like, we shall be using, instead of I, it makes you look more of a team player. Lastly, be patient, do not haste. Real-time interviews are generally not time-based. Take your time and think through. During home assignment, take time, plan your code before you write it. Also, fully understand the instructions of what you have to code. Reread carefully to understand and tick once you finish the tasks. To go beyond and above, don't crack under pressure, rather push your limits. Coding challenges will come with optional bonus requirements. Complete those requirements to stand out. Don't cheat or get help from others to make yourself look better. During on-site interviews, it's common for interviewers generally question the candidate to explain why certain choices were made, and that is the time where you will be exposed. Stage three, on-site floor interview. Last and the most intimidating stage in a technical interview is the on-site interview. The interviewer emphasizes coding skills, problem-solving ability, level of creativity, communication skills, and analytical thinking skills. Here are some tips you should do for on-site interview. Number one, ask clarifying questions before you start coding. No, it doesn't make you look obtuse. Rather, interviewers appreciate the candidates who evaluate and do calculative work rather than just who writes codes. Number two, talk your code loud to your interviewer. Well, this actually proves your communication and collaborative spirit and gives an open window to your thoughts behind the code to the interviewer. Number three, stay calm. At times, your code might not work or maybe you are stuck at one place. The ideal way is to stay calm, try new ideas, and maintaining your communication with the interviewer. A highly appreciative value is innovative and creativity of a programmer during the interview. Number four, do not be a jack of all trades, master of none. 
companies like candidates that are fluent in at least one language, and they are ready to overlook if the candidate does not possess knowledge about a particular technical language required for the job. Sometimes, it is ideal that you learn and carry at least one language in your arsenal, so you can tackle any problem the interviewer throws at you that might be language relevant. To stand out in an on-site interview, be confident, and keep your code simple and clear. Designing efficient algorithms is sort of table stakes. Write particularly easy to read code and pick really great variable names. Don't use short names like X and Y to try to move faster. You'll end up confusing yourself and your interviewer. So, these were the best tips to crack the technical interview like a boss. The common mistakes which you should avoid for on-site interviews are not prepared enough for the interview for a whiteboard test or coding challenge. Jumping into writing code without thinking and analyzing the requirement of the code. And lastly, not communicating with the interviewer during the interview are major hurdles. Here are some of the key aspects to enhance your coding skills for the technical interview. 1. Study the most important CS fundamentals. Learn and fill your gap in knowledge of data structure and algorithms. 2. Master one programming language and know it very well. It shows your efficiency and specialization over a language command. 3. Do regular coding challenges and practice tests. It will help you have time efficiency in coding under pressure in a real-time scenario. 4. Focus on logics, not syntax. Logics are universal and applicable to all languages, and show your logical knowledge with less complication as compared to syntax, which highly varies. 5. If you are a fresher working on the serious question for a coding interview, Meanwhile, if you are an experienced programmer, come up with your projects and based on the applied job position. Coding questions are based on either your previous project or applied position. So, these were the golden tips by Adunix, which you can apply to perfect your skill for the next tech interview. And don't forget to check out the description below for all the links of all the skills and certifications you can do to give you that upper hand in the interview. So, now the choice is yours. Begin with any of these online courses to learn something and perfect your skill for the next tech interview. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then do like it and share with your friends. And comment below if you like the video and want us to continue with this series. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified first when we upload a new video. Stay tuned for more such videos.